Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tuke and I'm a Nigerian based lifestyle blogger, saxophonist and content creator. Now today I'm going to be talking about my pumping experience. My baby was born on the 6th of February 2019 and if you want to know about my label and delivery story definitely click on the card above and just find out how the whole process went. Now I did six months of exclusively breastfeeding. The good thing is I don't work in nine to five. I work for myself. I'm not a stay at home mom. I'm like a work from home mom. And my work is quite flexible. So I was able to do six months exclusively breastfeeding. And I'm actually still currently breastfeeding even though my baby is 13 and a half months. Now if you want to know more about my breastfeeding journey, definitely click on the card above and watch that. So the only reason I was able to do that six months exclusive was because I had a breast pump and it's really for people that have to go back to the 9 to 5 life you need a breast pump, you need a really good pump if you work a 9 to 5 I would definitely recommend a double electric pump because it's more efficient and you're able to get more milk out at the time but I'll talk about the different types of pumps later on in this video so if you're interested in learning more about my pumping journey and things you need to consider before you buy a pump then keep on watching so a lot of people say that you shouldn't start pumping until your baby is about six weeks or eight weeks old to avoid oversupply and nipple confusion so i didn't start pumping until he was about six weeks old and i started with something called a silicone pump it's by the brand nature bond the most popular silicone pump brand I would say is the Hakka. I tried it out but I didn't really like it. I much prefer the silicone nature one pump but that might be because in the UK the Hakka that is available is slightly bigger than this one and it just didn't stay on my boob tightly like it kept on dropping. I didn't just really like it at all but I really love the silicone nature bond pump. It only cost about £13 and it was one of the things I bought before the baby's arrival. I have a video talking about the items I bought for my hospital bag and this hospital bag and I'll link it above so that you can watch it and just learn about some of the essentials that are necessary. So the way it works is you're feeding your baby on one boob and then you attach it to the other boob and you legit just fold it down and then it like just stays on the boob and the good thing is it doesn't really have super super suction like the electric pumps do it's just like catching the milk that's coming from the other boob anyways and there's like light pressure that helps bring the milk from the boob but what people say is that it's only the form milk that's coming out and the form milk doesn't have that many nutrients but this is what i used in like the first two weeks of pumping and one of my friends recommended this nature bond pump to me she said she had medella and it wasn't really good she didn't really like it she didn't get as much milk from it which is why she preferred the nature bond but she actually was using the medella manual pump maybe that's why i ended up getting the medella double electric pump after doing a lot of research i considered the lantino i considered the spectra i considered the willow i considered the lv but the medella was my final choice and i have no regrets so i started off with the nature bond pump about six weeks old and i would get like two ounces or three ounces per time so i would put the pump on one boob as i was feeding tyranny on the other boob now the thing about the first few months of motherhood is that you have to ensure that everything is sterilized to be honest in the first one year you have to be extremely conscious extremely neat everything has to be sterilized because the babies are so young and their immunity is so low so it was a bit of work having to wash and sterilize the pump after each use but thing is after some time I got used to it so I would pump, put Rennie to sleep, put the milk in the fridge it's better to store the milk in a milk storage bag or a bottle so that you just wash it and sterilize it immediately so it's ready for the next use now after some time I realized that this nature bond just wasn't as efficient because when I left Tyrone at home to go out and run some errands and he was being taken care of by my mom and my mother-in-law we realized that he consumed quite a lot of milk as a boy so a lot of people had recommended the Medela double pump to me like over nine people had recommended the Medela double pump to me and luckily for me I had gotten some vouchers 
for John Lewis and Amazon from friends and family members so I was able to use that to offset the cost of the pump and I have a video talking about 12 presents I think every new mom would appreciate so I think you should definitely click on the link above so you can buy a useful present for your friend or a family member that is a mom or mom to be so the Medela double pump costs about 179 pounds at the time that I bought it because they often have deals currently it is 200 pound and it's usually like 250 on Amazon but they're having a deal I used like a 50 pound John Lewis voucher I had been given to buy the pump and the pump came in a box like this this is actually my pumping bag and it's very important to have a pumping bag in your pumping bag you need to have the pump the charger milk storage bags batteries bottles and maybe some hand sanitizer so this is what the pump looks like and the reason i chose the medela over the lantino the lv the spectra the willow was because it was just very highly reviewed the spectra isn't very popular in the uk it's more popular in america and i had my baby in the uk so it wasn't really an option for me also i didn't know that many people that had used the spectra i knew a few people that had used the lancino and the medela double pump and one of them was like she didn't really see much difference between Lancino and the Medela, but the other person was like, the Lancino is good, but Medela is the boss, like you can pass it down to your grandchildren. And he said, Lancino is like a Toyota, Medela is a BMW that is more expensive. And based on the ones she had used, she said, Medela would be first, then Spectra second, Lancino third, and Philips fourth. And I believe her because she's an experienced mom. And then she also has a brand that sells different mommy essentials like milk storage bags, different boxes that you can give to like new moms or expectant moms with like necessities they may need for like postpartum. She said both of them were good, but she preferred the Medela. So that was actually what swung my decision because on her page she sells a lot of Lancino products so the fact that she said she prefers the metal I was like okay this is like obviously unbiased because this is somebody that is selling Lancino yes she's recommending the metal and the Lancino currently goes for like 104 pounds on Amazon I think around that time I even saw a deal for like 74 pounds both of them are electric both of them are portable but yes yeah, up to you it's up to your pocket it's up to it's up to you to decide whatever you want to use the LV and Willow you can just like Put them into your top and no one will know they're there but they're quite expensive like the lv is like maybe 279 for one and that means you can only pump one boob as you go so yeah that was why i didn't get those now there is something called a manual pump so with the manual pump you actually have to use your hand to like be pressing it and pressing it and pressing it so that the milk comes out but with these electric pumps you legit just wear a pumping bra pumping bras are so key medela sells one for 25 pounds but you can get one from like random brands on amazon and i'll link to the one i bought because i had the medela one and then i had the amazon one but i actually prefer the amazon one because the medela one doesn't have a strap but the one i got off amazon has a strap it allowed me pump and feed at the same time but with the medela one you can't pump and feed at the same time because it's a good tube so yeah definitely get a pumping bra so like you can pump hands free you can be on your phone you can be holding the baby you can be writing you can be editing whatever it is that you want to be doing while you're pumping milk storage bags i tried different ones i tried like Philips, I tried Lantino, I tried Medela, and to be honest, they all worked great for me. I didn't have any issues with any of them. Now, my worst pumping experience was probably when I was going for YouTube week and I had to leave Trenny at home like all day. So, some days was even from like 9 to 9. So, I had to like stop at people's offices to pump or go to someone's flat to pump. One time, I even stopped at a church to pump because my boobs were really full and there was a lot of traffic and i was just like no i can't do it anymore i stopped at the life point church at second round about the usher i met was really sweet and kind to me and she puts me in a dark area where i could pump and listen to the message at the same time but honestly that was like the height of it i was like look at me a babe like me i did pump for church you know the thing is like before you become a mom if you don't have a friend or a family member that has been a new mom or that's a mom and you've actually like experienced that pumping you won't really know what it's about the pump makes a sound like care 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 it makes a pretty loudish sound and that's one of the things to consider when you're buying a pump 
portability the sound how expensive the parts are and how easily available they are and whether it's rechargeable whether you can use it on the go or not now the really good thing about the medela is that it has this clip at the back it has a clip at the back so you can just like clip it into your trousers and pump on the go there's a nigerian brand that actually makes a silicone pump it's called anaborhi and the owner gifted me one pump and i really like it i actually have one to give away so just hold on a second so yeah, if you're a new mom or you have any friend that's a new mom and they don't have a pump yet and you like to win it for them or for yourself, just leave a comment letting me know why. Make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and make sure you leave your email address in the comments. A winner will be emailed in about a week. The Anabori actually works really great. It works just as great as the Nature Bond and it has a cover as well. So you can put it in the fridge to store your milk or put it by your bedside before you stand up to put it in the fridge. The thing is, nothing can actually prepare you for your motherhood journey. I know some people who aren't able to exclusively breastfeed because their baby just didn't latch properly. They tried using nipple shields. Some people have inverted nipples, so they have to pump constantly. Like, I have a friend that has to pump every two hours, and it's just what it is. So, I would actually say don't buy your pump before baby comes. If you want to buy one, just buy, like, the silicone one because it's affordable. But, yeah, do your research before you decide on the pump. I know in, like, hospitals in America, they have Medela hospital-grade pumps that they give to new moms who are, like, experiencing issues with breastfeeding so that it can stimulate the milk to flow properly because people actually power pump to increase milk supply there's something called power pumping which increases the milk supply um, and if you just type it into youtube you'll see videos of people talking about the experience power pumping so yeah the pump is like an asset actually because my sister-in-law she uses the medela she's had two children already and she's used it for both and she's still going to use it for her next child because it's just that good as long as you take good care of it it will serve you well the one i have is the swing maxi but they upgraded it sometime last year like towards the end of last year i think about october or september they upgraded it so the one i have is within the market anymore there is a better version which has flanges that have like rubber around it so this is the flange so this is the flange and then this part you just like connect to the pump and then you put this part here and then there is a cover so it's like a three-way process and you have to ensure that this is dry because if it's not dry the milk wouldn't come out properly you have to ensure you wash it you have to ensure this piping doesn't get like water or condensation in it or mold in it i know people have had bad experiences with like their tommy cp one and their phillips one because they didn't store it properly or take care of it properly so yeah you have to treat it like a baby it's very delicate and it requires a lot of care yes and the good thing is when you've like sterilized it you can put it in the fridge so i used to have like a box where i used to put my parts in the fridge but now that i'm not using it anymore i just store it in this ziploc bag so this is the medela one it's like a book tube What you do is you put this part through it, so this part is on your boob, and then this part is outside, and the bottle is connected to it. So yeah, I hope this video has been helpful and enlightening, and you've learned a bit about breast pumps. Like I said, there are three different types of breast pumps. There's the silicone pump, there's the electric pump, and there's the manual pump. I would recommend a silicone pump or a double electric pump just because the double electric ones are more efficient and if you are going back to work and you want to exclusively breastfeed then it's important to use the double electric pump so you can build your freezer stash you can store your milk in bottles or in milk storage bags but the bottles are expensive and bottles take up space so you don't want to have 
30 bottles in your freezer if you don't have a big freezer it's easier to have bags and with bags you can label them and write the dates that you pump and it's necessary to write the dates you pump so the milk doesn't go bad because they say milk lasts in the freezer for like four to six months depending on how you know cold your freezer is and in the fridge for like three to five days depending on like condition in which it's stored and temperature of the fridge so yeah the silicone pump that's my favorite is the nature bond the anabori too is just as good but because i started with the nature bond and because it's just a bit smaller because it's a bit smaller i prefer the shape so it's longer and thinner the anabori is like rounder and the haka is just big let me even look for it like i really didn't like the haka at all but heather Lindsay used the haka and she liked to be me to spoke about the haka but yeah nature bond on a boy for me and this and a boy is like three five or four five it's really affordable and the lady i mentioned earlier who told me the lance you know is a toyota and the middle is a bmw she sells the anna so this is the haka I didn't really use it to be honest. It's still like in its packaging because it just didn't do much for me. So this is the Haka. Look how big it is. It's five ounces, so it's really big compared to the Anabohi. So Nature Bond, Haka in the middle. And then Anabohi with the grey cover. But the stopper of the Haka is really cute. It's like floral. But yeah, like I said, Nature Bond or Anabohi over the Haka any day for me. If anyone wants this, feel free to leave a comment or send an email and you can have it. Because I legit only used it like three, four times. I didn't really use it at all. It's bigger, but in other countries, they have like the smaller size. And the good thing is like the bottom is like suctiony, so it sticks to the table so like you won't spill your milk over so yeah that's it i hope you learned from this video i hope it made sense because i was just talking if you have a baby and you have the nature born on the other body feel free to start using it from like day one so that you are building your milk stash i don't think the silicone pumps affect your supply that much because of how gentle it is so yeah Bye, catch me in my next video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Share this video with your friends.